What is up? My name is Jay and in this video I'm gonna be using the new WordPress Gutenberg and using all that new editor and some cool features but I'm gonna be showing you how you can go back to your classic editor if you don't like it or maybe it doesn't work for you. So let's go ahead and create a new page. And the first thing you're gonna see is that everything looks a little bit different. So right now um, there is a, you know, is a very clean, modern version of the editor. And you can see that we have other options that we didn't had. So let's go ahead and build something here very quick. So let's add the title. Let's say my cool page. And as you can see, they are telling you to start, start writing right here. Now, the thing you're going to see is there's a plus icon here and it says add block. So let's click there. And now you can see that we have a bunch of different options here that you can actually click and see. Um, the first one is your most used blocks. So you can see that I'm using paragraph code, columns, HTML. Um, but you can go ahead and there's a ton of different categories and you can look at them and test them. So the first one is paragraph, which is the one that we're going to use a lot. So let's click there and you can see here that you can start writing right now. So I'm just going to copy and paste some text. There you go. And now we have some text and as you can see, um, it's just normal text and they have a couple options to align the text and all that stuff. Now, one thing you can do is if you don't want these um, uh, new options and you want the classic ones that actually possible. So let's go ahead and create another block. And let's look for that classic option that I saw. Um, let's see, where is it? Here it is, classic. Let's click there. And you can see that it's just the same thing so you can just put some text but you have all the old options that I know that you love and they're very easy to use so that's there and then we can keep adding more blocks so mm, this is now every single thing that you do are blocks and you can actually go ahead and move them in a different position like this you can see there's a blue line, so you can just drag and drop, and there you go. So now we have the classic one on the top and then the other one here. So let's keep adding cool stuff here. So you can just press enter and you will see here that a new block is created. So we can just click here. I'm going to just hide the most used. And let's see what else we have. Inline image, which I know that you know what that is. There's a cool one here called cover. Let's use that one. So it seems like they, they're giving us the option to put like an image. So let's go to the media library. I'm going to choose one of the images that I already have here. Select. And it seems like it's an image, um, a background with some text on top. So I can, I don't know, let's see my computer. And then they'll let you like change the opacity, um, the color of the background. So you get the point. Um, Oh, there's a cool option here that is um, the cover settings. As you can see here, you can you can change it to fixed. And now take a look at this. Cool, huh? So I'm just going to disable that for now. All right. So now that we have a couple things, let's preview this page and see, see how it looks. There you go. So just normal page. Everything is looking just good. Um, I have a template to remove this sidebar, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, template blank page. All right, let's preview again. All right, there you go. Now is um, without that sidebar, and now is like a full um, width website. So that's cool. I like it. All right, um, let's keep adding some cool stuff here. There's one called code, which um, I don't know if you're a developer, maybe you're gonna um put a blog post or maybe you have a page that you want to show some actual code so you can go ahead let me just copy and paste some code here and there you go now you have code and it's actually code so if you preview 
you go down, it's gonna show you as code, so you're not gonna have any errors, like the page saying like, hey, I don't understand this code or whatever. So um, if you don't like how it looks and you have some CSS skills, you can actually change it. Um, it's very easy. So I created a very quick style for it. And if you go here to, to the block settings, there's an advanced one and you can ask CSS class. Okay, so I created a CSS class called dark hyphen code. And now if I preview that, and now you can see that it looks a little bit different. I think it looks better, but it's that simple. So you can change it with just simple CSS, right? So let's keep going here. And um, we have YouTube, which I love um, because I can put my YouTube videos on um, different pages just with that block. So let's keep going. You have more, um, you have galleries, um, audio, quotes, video. Um, let's see what else. Let's go ahead to layout elements. This is one that I'm sure people are going to use a lot, which is columns. Um, now you can have, let me copy and paste some text again. So right now we have two columns, but then if you go here to the block settings, you have more options and um, make sure you click the actual block. And you can see here um, the columns. So if you click on one column, you have that column settings. But if you click the whole block, which is somewhere here, yep, um, you will see that you can change the columns here. So um, you can go like three columns, for example, four columns, whatever. All right. So let's say we have four columns. Let's preview this page. And there you go. You can see that we have three, I mean, four columns. Um, they look great, just as expected. And let's keep playing with this. Let's add another block. Let's add a YouTube video. Um, let me just copy and paste the URL of this video right here. And there you go. Let's preview, make sure that it works. Scroll down, scroll down, and here is the video. And of course is huge because this is a full width. Um, let's see if they work. Yep. So it works. Let's pause it. All right. So let's go ahead and keep playing with this thing. Now there's something very, very interesting. It's called page break, which is going to divide your page in different pages. So if you have, let's say a blog post that is very, very long and you want it to divide it in two pages, you can use a page break, which is very, very cool. So let's add something after the page break, like, like the video, let's just drag it and drop it down here. So it's after the page. let's even drag all this. Oh, here, here we are. All right. So I use the little arrow to actually change the position instead of dragging and dropping, but you can do it like that. So we have the columns and the video after the page break. So let's see what happens. Let's preview this page. Scroll down here. You can see that now after the code, let's go back. So we have our code block and then we have the page break and you can see we have the code block and now we have a navigation. So you can go to a second page. So let's click on page two. And here we go. We have our columns and the video. So if you look at the URL is the same page, but it's saying page number two. So I think this is very, very helpful for some people that actually want to divide one blog post in two for some reason. It's very helpful, very easy to do right there. So I'm going to, because of I don't want a page break, so I'm just gonna remove the block here very quickly. Remove block. Awesome. There is something else that I want you to know is that you can actually create your reusable blocks. So let's say that I have this, my computer block, that I want to use this on different pages or maybe in the same page multiple times for some reason. You can just go here on the three dots, more options. 
And here you can see add reusable blocks. I'm gonna click there. You need to put like a name for that reusable block. Cool computer. Safe. All right, and now I have this reusable block called cool computer. So I let's say that I want to use that one again. I can go just go down here, add a block. I can go all the way down and you can see this reusable category. Click on it and you can see that I already have uh, my com my computer version two, which is a reusable block that I created and I have this my cool computer. So let's click there and you can see that we have the cool computer here cool computer here so let's change it let's edit let's add some exclamations let's save it let's scroll down and here you can see that it's actually um changed so if you use this on different pages it's going to change okay all right so those are kind of some of the features that i'm using every day it's just text um you know, code is one that I really like and um, regular columns. So let's see, there is something um, I was playing with columns and videos and something weird happened. So I'm just gonna show you real quick, just in case you're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna add here a video, for example. Okay, and I'm gonna add here another video is the same one so you can see that it looks a little bit weird right here um, which is it's not perfect there is some kind of um, bug but if you preview the page just scroll down so you can see that in the page in the actual live public page is gonna look good all right so in the preview it looks kind of weird but here it looks good and it works just fine so I just want to throw that out. So sometimes if you see something weird on the editor, maybe it's not going to look weird on the actual page. OK. All right. Now I want to talk about um, custom fields because I use it a lot. So a lot of people are having issues with it. So right now I'm having one because um, my blank page, if I change the template to blank, uh, it's supposed to have some um, custom fields and some other stuff in the page and it's not here right now. So what you can do is, if it's not working for you, you can actually go ahead and go to plugins and you will download the classic editor. So you can go back in time and activate your class, your classic editor and you will be back to normal. So just download, plugin, install, and activate. Now let's create a new page. And there you can see we're back to normal. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna change my template to a blank page. And there you go. Now I have actually, um, I'm using my custom field. It's working correctly. It's right here. Now let's deactivate again the plugin. Let's create a new page. Let's try to do exactly the same thing. This is the new um, editor. I'm going to change the template to blank. Nothing happened. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to save a draft this page. I'm going to reload the page. And now I can see that it's actually um, working just as expected the custom field, but it was not working out of the box how it's supposed to be. So it's confusing. Um, some people are very frustrated, but if you're having a ton of problems, you can just go ahead and install the classic editor plugin and you're good to go. Okay, let me test it and I want to make sure it works. Text and image, testing, custom fields. Let's choose an image. This one. Let's preview the page. And here you go. 
So it's working as expected. This is what's supposed to happen when I choose um, text and image. And this is um, created by custom field. So it's working and the new editor is still here. So if I go ahead and let's paste some text here. Let's preview this page. So you can see it's working just fine. All right. There are a lot of other cool blocks that I wanted to um, keep going and showing you like the custom HTML, for example, uh, it's very simple. It's just like you can just write HTML right here like this. And you can even add inline style CSS and all that cool stuff. So let's say color red testing HTML. And here you can have a preview. So here you go. So very cool. There's a lot of other things. I just want to keep the tutorial very, very short. I don't want to be here a half an hour, but you get the point. Um, if you go here to the top right, there is a lot of more option like full screen mode, um, a spotlight mode and all this cool stuff that you can try. So there is a bunch of things that you can do here. So just go ahead. If you don't have it already, install it and keep playing with it just like I did. All right, and that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.